What's up everybody, Quan here, back at you with another video. It's gonna be a little bit more of a serious one today. I've been gone for a couple weeks just focusing on my life outside of social media. Um, but I wanna talk about something a little serious. Hey, I want you guys to know it's okay to be not okay. I mean it, you know. I normally would say don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal, I said it, there you go. Let's get to the serious part though. It's okay to be a to be not okay um you know i if you know me you know i've had my battles with depression i'm still battling it's an everyday battle the fight never ends you got to keep fighting you can't give up i've tried to give up twice and i will not try again i hope but this has been a tough year for a lot of us covid civil unrest social justice depression is at its all-time high right now just moved to LA five months ago during COVID. All the things that I wanted to do are re literally not available. Gyms are closed, struggling to obtain clients, but I do have some good ones, but it took me five months to get them. Got a group that I do classes for by donation. Sometimes I leave with some cash, sometimes I don't. But I'm understanding that there's more to life than the social media hype. You go on Instagram right now, what are you gonna see? Everyone living these lavish lifestyles, so cool. I'm so amazing, standing in front of luxury cars and going to fancy dinners. And the reason why I've never been like that is because I understand that life has its ups and downs. When I when I tried to take my own life, when I when I realized that I wanted to give up, it was because I saw no hope. And when I look at those type of social media posts, when I know people are struggling, I still see no hope because I understand that they're just lying to the to others to make themselves feel good. And that's why I'm making this video. People are like, you're living the life. I get messages every day, you're living the life. I have no idea how I'm gonna pay my bills every month. I have a plan. But if clients cancel and stop coming, I'm SOL, baby. It's over. But I'm gonna fight tooth and nail if, until that happens. God forbid, but if that happens, I'm gonna keep fighting and I'm gonna be back here again. Just like when I was evicted twice in Chicago, I still made it back to the highest of highs. I have a nice apartment overlooking the city. Because in terms of the moral of this video, failure is okay. Stop holding yourself to this not real standard of that you can't fail. That, it's so, that people can't see you struggle. The struggle is what makes a success beautiful. Right? All the struggles I've been through, from evictions to you know self-harm to losing jobs to messing up relationships to harming to, to letting down my family. All those things needed to happen to letting other people down. All those people, all those things needed to happen for me to become the man I am today. Because I can look at myself in the mirror and I know who I am because I've accepted my failures and I've accepted that I'm going to fail more. 2020 knocked us all on our asses, all on our heads. But that does not mean you give up. That does not mean you let the hate take over. I see people just so hateful right now. Stop trying to cancel people and uplift people. Uplift yourself. Stop focusing on what this person said, blah, blah. Stop. Focus on your career and your success and your family and your growth. That's what I'm focused on right now. I have my days where I see things and I'm like, whoa, whoa. And then I have to go lay down close my eyes for a few minutes and say, well, that happened. What are you going to do about it? If it's something I don't agree with, I might go out there and protest. Always peaceful. I get out there and protest. Been to eight or nine protests now. I've volunteered in Skip Row. I've done all the things that I felt I needed to do this year when I feel it. I've chased that feeling. Chased my gut. Not for the gram. Not for this. Nope. I just go out there, do what I can. Work security at some events. I've done what I could do to stand up for my community and stand up for what I believe in. And the parts I don't believe in, I don't stand up for Things I don't like, I don't say them. But I can go to a protest and not agree with everything and still be there. A lot of us seem like they, you can't do that right now. Black Lives Matter is not a group that wants to loot and burn things. All cops aren't terrible people. Systems are flawed. People capitalize. That's the world we're in. Don't let that define you. Don't let that define your year. Don't let COVID define your legacy, define you. Don't let this be a lost year or a canceled year. Get out there, grab, put your pants on, zip them up, and let's go to work. If your job is gone, start another passion. I've started a podcast, 
production company. I'm tr- do, still doing my training because I know I got to do what I got to do to survive. Get out there and survive. Don't wait for somebody to come save you, men and women out there. Get out there. This is your time. 2020 is going to be a defining year for a lot of us. 2021 as well. This is a crisis we're going through on so many levels. We're getting hit by so many different angles. We don't know what to do. We're like a little lamb in the ring with Mike Tyson getting hit with haymakers right now. We don't know where the next punch is going to come from and how we got here or what's coming next. But we're here. So what are you going to do about it? Whatever your beliefs are, stick to your guns. Stick to your belief. I don't mean guns as in physical guns. I mean stick to your beliefs. Do your thing. But you don't have to go out and be mad at someone else for believing something you don't believe. Simple. I don't hate all races. Nope. I'd rather know you're racist. That way I can avoid you. I don't want to kill cops. Nope. Nah. I'm going to vote. I'm going to become the most powerful person I can become in order to change the world and help make it so that my children have a better life than I did. That's my plan. And I encourage you guys to do the same. Get out there, protest, take care of business, go go the legislative route. Do what you can to change the world. Don't just talk. Go be about it. So that's all I got to say. I know I'm going to trigger some people who don't agree with me, but this isn't about about arguing with me. Stop arguing with everyone. People aren't going to agree with you. I feel like we all learned this in kindergarten, but we're not always going to agree with each other. And that's okay. Get out there. Fight for your beliefs. Love your fellow brothers and sisters. And I don't mean because they're your same race. I mean the people of the world. Try to be good to people. If people aren't good to you, leave them alone. Leave them in the dust. Let them go be bad somewhere else. If people want to hate me because of the color of my skin, all right, man, go back to whatever hole you crawled out of. And if you have more than me, that's fine. Because I'm going to survive and I'm going to grow and I'm going to be far better than you ever thought possible. We're not going to change people's minds, but we can dominate through our actions. So let's go dominate. Not here to plug anything, promote anything. This is just a video I'm releasing to say, it's all gonna be okay. It's okay to not be okay. But take that energy and use it to become more. Take your time to be down and keep fighting. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Again, the name's Quan. If you guys don't like me or have a problem with me, yo, that's cool. You wanna say something negative? Whatever you gotta do, man. But love yourself, try to be good to people, and let's change this world to a better, more positive place. Thanks, guys.